Hi guys and welcome to the round table with me, Henrique Spadilis, TJ Cifaldi, Callum Sutton, Caprimo Pearson Noel, and this uh, this, <laughs> this douchebag right here. Um, few changes gonna happen here since Article 50 <laughs> has been confirmed. <laughs> I'm going to take a short Don't trip. Don't lie. Home. Don't lie. All right. Here's the deal, right? He was late. Like. Because of some sort of work Because of Article thing. 50. Like, because of some sort of work thing. Like. So do you want to explain what actually happened? He was late. I was late because I have an actual paying job. Now, we have a... So do I. We have a rule here on the round table, which is anyone who's late to a recording, we all get to slap him. Yep. Who doesn't show up <laughs> for a recording, which I did. Henry's getting slapped. He is. So get ready for that. That's coming up yep. in today's episode of The Roundtable. From the Brewery Tap in Luton, this is The Roundtable with TJ Chifaldi. Capri McPherson Noel. Issa Abu Sadane. And your host, Callum Sutton. And with that, welcome to another episode of The Roundtable right here from the Brewery Tap in Luton with myself, Callum Sutton, TJ Chafaldi, Capri McPherson Noel, and Issa Abu Sadana. I'm not too sure why I said his name like that. That's the way, that's well the way well you say his name. That's the way it is right. the way. You, well, I was expecting Capri to be in Issa's seat for some reason. Just because she was the original replacement to Issa. Yeah, but... Okay, now she's replacing Henry, so. Ooh. Let's go replace you, guys. How do we like these changes, by the way? Are these good changes? I hate them. I think Shut I like up. Uh, More diversity. I, I heard a voice, so I don't, I don't know. know that More diversity. Um, More diversity. That's, that is true, but we did lose our Lithuanian, though. Yeah, Not that that really that. matters, though, to be honest. Let's be honest. I mean, I don't really I mean so. last time we established that we don't like Capri's views whatsoever. Ouch. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't remember anything about that episode. She said I feel that like I, I just blanked I said it. The Ryan one thing Reynolds, I didn't, why are you looking Ryan at my Reynolds phone? was a shit Deadpool. <laughs> I said I didn't like it. You thought Ryan... See, I don't yeah. remember any of this. <laughs> I can't remember Ryan shit. Reynolds was a shit... <laughs> All right, that's a show. Goodbye. Yeah. No, okay. Well done. We'll get into the actual stuff. So, um... Well done. Henry's not here <laughs> at all. Henry's definitely not watching definitely me not as I speak. No. And... <laughs> She got a match on Tinder, so. Oh, what? <laughs> you got a match on Tinder! Hey! hey. hey. Woo! Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Here's Capri's match on Tinder. <laughs> on <screen right> now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. What? What did you just say? Yeah, Show anyway, me. carry on. No, shut anyway. the fuck up. <laughs> um, before we start, Capri, is there anything on your mind today? Well, oh, I want to talk no, about cool. the... Um, he wants to talk about the S8. S8? Something S8? The, the what? Samsung. Samsung. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck it's, it's a good a phone. Fanboy so. over here. Issa was watching the Samsung S8 keynote, because he's a nerd. I'm not a nerd. nerd. <laughs> Who watches the Samsung keynote? Nerds. <laughs> No, I was waiting for that phone for months. Well, I watch an E3 conference, but like that's that's it. Yeah, that's all I watch. Well, I watch but you technology. went out your way to watch a Samsung conference live. Ooh, live! <laughs> it was live. This changes and, everything. And I tuned in thirty minutes beforehand. What is that's wrong? That's called you? being a nerd. What is wrong with you? It's not me being a nerd. Did that's you have Mountain right. Dew? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So he's half nerd. We'll talk about the Samsung S8 later on. Um, we're going to start off with Amazon Prime, though. Not a new sponsor, unfortunately, but we need to get them in board because I've heard they've got a lot of money. Um, but either way, really? Amazon Prime Instant Video um, are actually doing a kind of like pick what you want thing going on at the moment. Okay. So and like, like Nielsen with TV and anything else with movies, um, basically they're putting out preview releases of some of their upcoming shows and basically you get to choose which one actually gets the commission Ooh. so yeah, sounds good so what if like so. what if like all of them are good um i'll have to commission all of them i guess <laughs> <laughs> they've got the money for that's, it i like that i mean they've had a lot of stuff why is that out. not why do you like that capri that means, like that's, that means that's, that's a that, new way of television like getting you the audience will yeah, actually that, pick that, what's going to be yeah but i'm assuming that it's going to be one one Fucking one winner up and then four that. aren't going to get made. Yeah, why, why but why, why is that better than but if, five? No, but if you made? commission a show and it goes shit and an audience don't want to 
know about it, then you're losing money. But if you actually, if an audience actually picks one that they think's going to do well and commission it, then you've got more of a chance yeah, of yeah, being but, successful. But what, what, like, I'm assuming that only one gets picked. You can only have one. It's the top, whatever the top rated mm. one is. Yeah. But let's say there are two really good ones. Is anyone being well, I'm put off if, by something off stage? I'm guessing the if way. they have more, um, if there's like a ranking, then they might commission it during the year. See how they probably see, see how the first see, one. See, normally, how pilots get commissioned or, or, or TV shows is they make a pilot mm. and then they show it to about I don't know about hundred people, yeah. and then whichever ones with like there isn't there isn't like a oh, one of these five gets commissioned is whichever ones these hundred people like that gets commissioned. So that could be all five get commissioned or not. So all they're doing is, is basically saying, okay, we're going to make five great pilots, but only one gets made. How is that better than having Maybe five they should do top great three shows? Maybe they should pick 10 and do top three and commission three. I, yeah, I, three I'm actually not top three. looking. Just <laughs> I wouldn't look. Just do top three. He's going to be on screen anyway. Um, but yeah, they've, they've had some good shows coming out recently. Um, Oasis, the, the Legend of Master Legend, building uh, budding prospects and the new VIPs. You can tell that I haven't watched any of these. Mm. Um, although I do like Amazon Originals, don't get me wrong. Uh, I don't know if anyone saw Goliath. No. Uh, Goliath is a really good show. Yeah, that was great. Um, so that's one really good thing they have coming. And obviously they've got The Man in the High Castle, which oh, is yeah. known for being yeah. quite big. Um, the Basically, um, <laughs> would you stop it? <laughs> There's, there's, nobody, there's nobody else here. How there's nobody else like here. It's not even funny. He's funny over can... you, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, oh. So, yeah, uh, the pilots for each show are now available for subscribers to stream and review. So, then once you've reviewed them, which I'm guessing is probably going to be done through their usual platform of just, you know, yeah. five stars, get a description, mm. they'll, they'll guess, you know, they'll work out which ones to commission. Mm. So, hopefully. This will lead on to good things. Yeah, I say, I say, it's very selective. Hopefully, yeah, I, I, I kind of hopefully like my assumptions were wrong. Hopefully, we'll hopefully. Yeah. only time will tell. I mean, the thing about this is, it's going to be um, the masses choosing. Yeah. So, um, problem. The only problem that it might have is if there is some sort of niche show that a small group of people want mm. that could be lost from commission forever. So, you, like. Sure. There are movies that I, I watched and I thought, brilliant, absolutely great movies. But then yeah. I look on Netflix and they've got like two stars. I'm like, yeah, exactly. yeah that's the problem as well is that review systems, I think they need to be broken down a little bit more. Mm. So that instead of just having five stars in the description, oh, what do you like? Yeah. Do you like this? Do you yeah. like this? Are you, a bit are more you, feedback. Are you satire or are you slapstick? And then after that, it'll go on to whatever else. Mm. Um, so yeah. I'm not too sure if we want to talk about this or not. Go for it. Just want to have a. Um, <laughs> I, haven't read it. I have. What is it? I, I mean, I don't really have much to say about that. Okay. Personally, let's just say because I was talking about this a good while back on the certain show because I think it was David Cameron who originally wanted to basically get access to any encrypted messages service, like the users, what they're saying, as part of. Um, counter-terrorism but at the same time it just seems like time and time again a gross misconduct of privacy mm -hmm. and so they're looking to do that again a lot of people know whatsapp whatsapp is probably one of the most securest platforms that there is at the moment because everything's encrypted from one to the other mm. nothing's in between that unlike facebook where there's a server in the middle whatsapp is going straight doesn't facebook own whatsapp yeah it does mm. right. Facebook Messenger has a similar built-in feature called... Oh, it's just called Encrypted. Oh, is it called Encrypted? It's called inc Incognito or something. Um, most people haven't seen it, basically. What you do is you'll press a button and then the messages you send can only be seen on your phone and whoever receives it. Oh, well, secret message, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And oh, so, yeah, and so message, yeah. it won't show up on any other device. Once yeah. that device is gone, that's it. Yeah. It's direct end-to-end. -end. So a lot of people know about what happened in Westminster last week and so they're now looking to once again get access to encrypted platforms WhatsApp iMessage even Snapchat mm, which I don't, I don't use Snapchat so I don't care this is an invasion of privacy though mm. but so don't you know, use that don't use that platform yeah but why should I not use it just in case because government are going yeah, for it why like, would they I come use it. you though why would they check you off yeah but it's the fact it's privacy though it's just, it's just some people feel a bit more wary about that sort of stuff. 
I, I, mean, I know it's a serious issue, but at the same time, I just, I don't have anything like to hide like at all. Yeah, that's that's my point as well. I don't. Really it's hide like it's like hide. I don't, I, I yeah, don't really I use WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger enough. I don't know either, but it's just an invasion of privacy. Just like yeah. I don't want people I'm, looking at my messages. It's yeah, a private conversation. Exactly. I, w- I wonder what Capri is hiding. Nothing. All those dick pics, Capri. Oh yeah, cool, yeah. yeah Destiny Two is on the way. What's Destiny Two? Cool, I'm, moving on. I, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I had the, was it the alpha of Destiny? I managed to get into that. I, then I got the beta. Yeah. Then I pre-ordered the game, bought it. Severely disappointed with Destiny. There's no way I'm picking up Destiny 2. Fair enough. I mean, I, I downloaded the premium package on PlayStation Store. <laughs> premium. But I don't think I ever really played it, just because from the start, it just wasn't really... What you bought the premium, there's, like you didn't play it. No, because there's not there's nothing that hooks you into it. There wasn't a story. With games, there needs to be something that hooks you into it first. I need a story. Exactly. Like, for for me, story is like key. I like yeah, that that, course, that yeah. hooks me in because a lot of people like the multiplayer aspect. Uh, a lot of people just like the, the mechanics of a game. I I didn't buy Titanfall like the first one because they didn't have like, a single player story mode. Um, I haven't yet picked up Titanfall two, but I will at some point. Because I've heard good things about the single player, and the multiplayer does look fun. But for me, I have to have to have a single player experience with a good story. Okay. Um, autonomous cars. Uber. The these have been a thing. These have been a thing forever. Yeah. Um, basically, Uber has had to pull itself driving cars off the road after an accident, which should have been. Society. Our society is so lazy. Like, oh my god. Um, so society, so well, I'm not, I'm not too sure what the point of self-driving Uber yeah, is in the, the first place. No, the what is the point? Is there's a second driver as well, just in case something Yeah, happens. but what's the point? Just have well, a driver. What was just our just second driver some, doing? Just employ know. that driver and because just do I, it. I read about it. Basically, the, dry, the car drives by itself. And then there's this driver, just in case something happens. Well, I don't sec- understand. This second driver isn't well qualified, stupid. is it? Stupid. What, what's the point of paying for someone just to sit down? Exactly. If you could just fucking exactly. drive the car. Exactly. I'm telling you, our society is so lazy. So lazy. I bet they're outsourcing this. Uh, I bet this, I'm, I'm guessing I bet the like, reason there's a second driver is more of a safety precaution because it's such an early piece of technology. Yeah, yeah, not, not because it needs it, but it's like we, we'd rather have the person there to drive it just in case something goes wrong for the next five years. And in five years, they'll say, like, if there hadn't been accidents, they'll say, well, look, we had we had these people, we we're paying them, and nothing happened, so why do we have to pay them? And then eventually it would get to the point where it would just be a self-driving car with no backup, no second person. The problem is this sounds like some sort of corporate move where they're going to give the, the, dri- the second driver job to the intern <laughs> who doesn't intern have a driving license. Yeah. That would be pretty funny. And he's like 16 mm. and yeah. it's basically shitting himself. Yeah. Like, I can't move it properly. And that's probably what's going to cause the amount of crashes. Yeah, there'll be more crashes than, than real people actually driving. So basically it was a Volvo SUV. Well... Now we know half the reason why that happened. Um, but basically, yeah, what, what so they've, they've had to... Hey? What was good? That's the right car. Moving on. <laughs> Volvo is, is a good brand. It's okay. I mean, they're reliable, it's, it's, but it's, it's yeah. not exactly... It's strong as Sporty. Well. Oh, all right. Or technologically so it's a car. advanced. It's a car. Does it have an engine? Yeah. Does it have wheels? Yeah. Does it some doors? Yeah. Windows? It's a car. <laughs> What do you want me to say about it? You could say that about a lot of things. Yeah. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a car, like... Okay. What do you want me to say about it? Golf buggy, yeah. right? Yeah, it doesn't it moves, have windows. It has it? an engine. It has, eight, it has yeah. plastic windows. It's on, a car. On the front. It's a, no, it yeah, has a windshield. Go, it's, it's road legal. It doesn't have windows. You know, what? A, you know what? Don't let society define no, you. No, 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 no. Go no, 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 drive no, no, your golf buggy on the M11. It has a windshield. It doesn't have windows. Difference. That's a window. No, windshield. All right, whatever. Um, right, is this Samsung Galaxy S8? Yes, it is. Yes. Well, <laughs> he's gonna. You know what? You, you just right, hang on. Hang on. No, no, no. I've, I've whoa, got. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go back. Go back up. Go back up. Three pages of notes on this, and you're probably gonna know all the. Wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Can we just? So here, this is the notes. Stop. <laughs> Step away from the phone shop. <laughs> now isn't the time to invest. Na- wait. Now isn't the time to invest in a. New smartphone? 
after I waiting. I didn't realise this would be so pumped over this. Felt like an age. <laughs> right, don't quote the Korean don't, don't, giant's stop, stop, latest stop, phone. Stop quoting it directly. Right, Samsung Galaxy, the Samsung S8 Galaxy S8 is will being be revealed, revealed, on revealed on March 29th. 29th. Well, okay, right. It's, uh, tell us the score because you probably know everything about it. Well, not everything, but I know more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. So basically, everyone knows what happened with the Note Seven. No, tell me. <laughs> basically, blew up. <laughs> oh, okay. Explosions everywhere. What? What blew up? What, the phone. The phone. The phone. <laughs> okay. Bam. Okay. Okay. So yeah, didn't they use it, some sort of really dodgy? Um... It wasn't really dodgy. They tried to pack so much power into a small battery. So, well, that's and stupid. because it was, uh, that sounds like some such a shit. bullshit <laughs> excuse. Such a bullshit excuse for bad, how, bad testing. How, how, bad. They that, fucked that, up that, and they, they made up bad. an excuse. Our yeah. phone was so powerful, the battery <laughs> couldn't exactly. handle it. No, no, they actually <laughs> no, no, fucked no, no, up on the no, testing no, no, as well. So now, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck wait, wait, one second, one second, one second. So now they actually test every single phone. You know, you're such a fanboy. Okay, you know the battery technologies. You can't just. Pack more power in. <laughs> more power! <laughs> go, go, go on the internet and search it. That's anyway, not how it internet is reliable. shut the fuck up, bruv. Get out. Who You're not part of this. Who are you? <laughs> anyway, oh, God, so patient. after the Note 7, they wanted to bring something out that's really good. Yeah. Which I was really hyped for, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie, for the Galaxy S8. Yeah. But fanboy, fanboy. Did, fanboy. No, fanboy. <laughs> Pack more power in. You know, it, it wasn't really the same as I expected it. I mean, okay. it's a beautiful design. Ooh, it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful design. It's okay. something new okay. as well. Borderless with a huge screen and a small phone, I've got, basically. I've got to Google it. I have to see what he's talking okay, about. Okay, here's, here's what's happening, right? Right. Samsung Galaxy S8. First thing, 4K display. Nice move. No, no, I was going to come back to thing, that. Second thing, inbuilt projector. That's bullshit. That's going to blow up. <laughs> not enough power. Because they're not enough power. Much power in it. Um, Let me carry they're, on. They're, they're, according to Digital Spy or Curly UK, <laughs> they are copying the iPhone 7 and ditching the 3.5 millimeter headphone port. Do you know anything about that? Oh shit! What is he talking about? We are audio and video producers. And do you want to get a they, phone? They still have I'll the audio jack. jack. I need, I need my headphone jack. jack. Fact, everyone, no, everyone Samsung S8 still has the audio jack, so... I know that. That's how you know this guy doesn't do his research before shooting. It says it right here. It's not true. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it, actually... it does say it right yeah, there. It actually does. <laughs> That's fake. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it's not where's, fake, because it's, it's straight from... Where's it sourced from? Yeah. It's a news.com. News.com. <laughs> fake news.com. <laughs> We'll see. We'll find out. We'll it's report on it. We'll report back to it on a later episode. They've um, revealed the phone already, so everything's out. Well, you never know what might happen last minute. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will happen last minute. Actually, it's a great uh, phone. Well, TechRadar.com seems to say that it will have a headphone jack. It does have a headphone okay, jack. Okay, so it still has a headphone jack. Yeah. Okay, good. So let, let me carry on. So, so, so they've done one a, thing right. Wait, wait. It's so, a beautiful design. Beautiful but, design. But the the battery's too big. No, no, the inside they didn't really change a lot from their S7 Edge, so, so that was a bit disappointing. So basically, what you're saying is it's the same amount of power's going in, so it'll blow up again. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that what you're saying? Okay. Shut up, man. You know, you know come you on, know, I'm, you know, I'm a scientist. Okay, something you know, plan, you know, planned obsolescence, right? The the marketing practice of companies creating products that don't last that long so that the consumer has to buy the next model. Yeah. Is this not conspiracy taking the piss theory. just that's a, a bit? That's conspiracy theory. Is this theory. not taking the piss just I mean, a bit? The, the if, moment the new model comes out, explodes. It is. That is just... Uh, okay, right. iPod batteries died. Yeah, but they Having to, them blow up on your consumers is a different story. They, they have to refund millions of phones. Or thousands. Well, yeah. <laughs> or just a hundred. They they did. The Note Sevens. What? Stop talking. The customers Stop. actually sent it back. Stop talking <laughs> to the Samsung. Stop refunded. talking to the lightning. <laughs> it's the audience. That's the audience. Don't talk to them. <laughs> no, that's talk- they're the audience. I'm talking to the audience. That's, live that's, audience. That's live audience. Stage. Live audience. Yeah, live audience. Clap. Clap. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> He thinks it's That's what I'd imagine our audience would say. But yeah, yeah four gigabytes RAM. Okay, so. 
Finger, fingerprint scanner, I'm guessing. So the back, but I don't think anyone be, uh, would really use it because you've got the iris scanner plus the face recognition one. Wait, so you're trying to say that someone won't use a fingerprint scanner at the back? Not with the place where it's I, supposed I doubt, to be. I doubt anyone would use it now because the uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 what? actually got an iris scanner, which is so much faster and more convenient. An iris scanner? This is yeah, just going too far. Phone. What phone is that? It does actually have an iris scanner. Nexus 6P. So it scans your eye. So oh, I'm going to point out that having a Nexus 6P. It's a nice, nice phone. Yeah. Um, it's really weak. Fingerprint scanners should be what? Um, phone is not really that strong. <coughs> It's true. The what fuck are you saying? Watch, watch drop it's tests not a and strong phone. everything. It bends really it fast. It can bench press two people. It's a big <laughs> well, when you when you get your Samsung Galaxy S8, yeah. right, you're going to be dropping it off the roof of this building. No, but yes, you are. This phone, because you need to validate those. Yeah, but this phone. Okay. Is too but yeah, here's okay. Samsung Galaxy S8. Okay, so fingerprint scanner on the back is yeah. a good thing. A lot Man. of people have found that with the fingerprint scanner on the front, so many phones have been broken. It just doesn't work well. While it while, while if like it's on the back. Just bullshitting now, but okay. What do you mean? You're just making up. Okay, yeah, no, no. Yeah, think yeah, about yeah. it, right? If you have a Samsung Galaxy Note Four, whatever it is, with the fingerprint scanner on the front, right? I'm not. I'm not talking you're, about you're only to, Samsung. You're, right? you're having to do this, right? Yeah, even yeah. with iPhone, it works perfectly, right? Yeah, mine works perfectly. Mine works perfectly. It's perfect. not strong. I'm sorry, <laughs> Callum. It's in half. It works perfectly. Mine right? works perfectly. I mean, I would rather have that. I never, said it, right I never said it doesn't work. It's just so many people have dropped their phones from using a fingerprint scanner oh, on the phone. Oh, how would you drop like that? You print, fingerprint it like you that. Exactly. Who does Natural it like selection. That? You do this. Like, if you if you do it, then I'm sorry. You got problems. Or you do it with just, your finger. Just listen to me. That's what listen I do. to me. This. Why would you do that? Because I have three fingers. <laughs> I have ten. Connected. I got three fingers connected to my three phone. Fingers. So I got the two phones. I, I have and the ten index. fingers. Is that wrong? I, I got ten. <laughs> now you must have three. It's a new okay. trend. Oh, okay. Um, Qualcomm Snapdragon 830, six yeah. gigabytes of RAM. Basically, this phone is a laptop. Wait, it has six gigabytes of RAM? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty four gigabytes. That's going too far. Four, 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 four gigabytes. Going it's too six. far. Sorry. It's actually four, not six. It says no. It's four. I'll look it up. Look it up. I literally just looked it up like half okay, an hour ago. Okay, four gigabytes of RAM yeah. would make more sense. Okay, that's not very good then. No, it's terrible. What phone is that? That's a Sony Z3. Okay, they're comparing this to the Sony Xperia Z5. Um, I like the Z5. I want to get one. I'm starting to think that this source is not legitimate whatsoever. <laughs> the S8 will run with a four with a foldable display. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when did you do your research? Where the fuck did you um, get all this information? Two days ago. Two days ago. Yes. Didn't, didn't it happen last night? No, it happened on 29th. Oh. Okay. So two days ago as well. It's probably before it got revealed. Okay, here's... Copy and paste. I, uh, I think it is. Four gigabytes of RAM. Okay, it's four gigabytes of RAM. Do your research, RAM. God. I did my research. You didn't do it well enough. I've I don't owned know eight. Which, which oh, one? hang on. But some, it might have six gigabytes. Right, four okay. gigabytes. Uh, Check Samsung's it's... website. And the price is so high, so it's unbelievable. They're trying to prove me wrong. I know but somebody else won't. is quite high as well. Who? <laughs> quite high. Oh wow. Well, okay. Of those, yeah. uh, I think you're both correct. There, there's a hunch that there'll be two phones launching. There's no hunches though, because they actually revealed it and they- It's a duo of Samsung or something. No, no, they exactly actually revealed the phone though. Moving on. They, they, oh. they won't a, change there's a, it now. There's, there's a hunch that they'll have a four gigabyte version and a six gigabyte version. Yeah, but they revealed the phone, the both the S8 and the S8 Plus. Okay. So okay. okay. With okay. the specs right, and everything. Chill, okay. chill. iPhone Don't piss 8. Just, I'm just, I'm eight. just iPhone just, oh. 8. What about it? Is anybody psyched? No. Good. Nah. Good. <laughs> Next. Oh, yeah, they're gonna release no, the no, 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 no. Let me just get through the pros and then we'll be done. Okay. Wireless charging might make it. Yeah. Hmm. I doubt it, but okay. Okay, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, um, curved no. screens as well. Um, they're looking to put in a 3D scanner, uh, looking to bring in VR to the iPhone platform. Curved it's gonna screen. have a QHD AMOLED panel. It's basically and a it's Samsung. It's a nice panel. Um, basically a Samsung. You can't say that. Um, it's gonna cost, um, well, we don't know how much it's gonna cost. 
a lot. So, a lot. Seeing that the top this end iPhone 7 time. already costs nearly a grand, it, we can expect it to be rumors. quite a lot. Um, Snapchat is bringing in Facebook. Um, no, that's not correct. Oh, Facebook, Facebook is bringing in Snapchat esque disappearing so, uh, messages. Annoying. Oh my Literally, god. It is Facebook, the most annoying WhatsApp, thing ever. And Instagram. Yeah, because they all run because they all own yeah. by Microsoft. Didn't, didn't so WhatsApp, so, WhatsApp bring in yeah. something? Yeah, it has so the stories or something. Browse my contact yeah anymore. i can't either yeah stupid so terrible. Uh, it's so stupid like especially people. when you when you take a picture and it's like add to your day what happens if you're like roasting a person or something like you screenshot and you roast someone and you accidentally click add to your day and everybody's gonna see it what okay i can see that happening right to me. right okay so definitely if you haven't seen it already uh update your facebook app on Android no don't or ios don't it's not on windows yet don't. um but basically now what you've got at the top of the screen is a bunch of people's days um so and it's simply Shit. It's Snapchat. not Facebook as well. Snapchat it comes stories. up on Facebook as well. It's, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, and this, Facebook this, Messenger. This, Snapchat this stories, idiot. and then Facebook Messenger has Does something it all the time. similar this to one. the actual original Snapchat. <laughs> um, it's very annoying. Which idiot? Well, the, uh, well, the person just, who, who I just got used to Instagram. Yeah. I just got used to Instagram, and now they put Facebook. It's so annoying. It's not my fault. It's going... It appears at the top. Of Did my we fucking say phone. you could speak? I'm, I'm, I'm on. I'm on what's Facebook, and all of a sudden Henry Spudolus, whatever, has got. You don't an, have to watch got, it. Has, it has a thing. You feel like, like you need to because you need to get rid of it. That's why I do my Snapchat. Okay, I just okay, watch okay, it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the app. Okay. No. So that's the news for today. Did you just say don't that was 13 yeah. pages. <laughs> you can't don't. Um, I, I think we've probably gone over our normal time, but that's okay. It's good. Yeah. It's fine. It's cool. It's <laughs> This has been the round table at Square Table. That's been Henry Kess for Dallas, Callum Sutton, Capri McPherson Noel, TJ Chafandi, and, and Issa Abu Sadana. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more episodes. And this show is brought to you by Pets TV. Please do support us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Prism Studios. You can find us online, prismstudios.net. And we shall see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. I feel the need.